Hej og velkommen til The Six of Fitters. Velkommen til Minecraft Story Mode. Mm. Så mig og Mikke, vi er endelig sammen igen, hvilket betyder, at vi endelig kan spille Minecraft Story Mode. Sådan og vi vil... Oh. <laughs> vi, vi vil endelig have spillet det her, da det kom ud, men vi har bare ikke været i stand til at være sammen og ligesom kunne gøre det her. Nu kigger jeg ned på min skærm, fordi vores computer er hernede. Og vi tænker, at det kunne nemlig være rigtig sjovt at være to personer om at spille et Telltale Game. Med andre ord, der er nogle vigtige beslutninger, som to personer skal be- beslutte sig om på kort tid. Det kan nok ender med, at det bliver sådan... Den beslutning! Nej, ikke den! den, den nej, ikke den! Så vi, vi får se, hvordan det bliver. Men vi spiller den første episode her, og så må vi se, hvordan det går. Mm. Så lad os bare komme i gang, tænker jeg. Nothing built can last forever, and every legend, no matter how great, fades with time. With each passing year, more and more details are lost, until all that remains are myths, half-truths. To put it simply, lies. And yet, in all the known universe, between here and the Far Lands, the legend of the Order of the Stone endures, unabridged as self-evident fact. Indeed, it is only a troubled land that has need for heroes, and ours was fortunate to have, so long ago, four heroes such as these. Gabriel the Warrior, before whose sword all combatants would tremble. Eligard, the redstone engineer, whose machines would spark an era of invention. Magnus the Rogue, who would channel his destructive creativity for the benefit of all. And Zorin, the architect, builder of worlds, and leader of the Order of the Stone. These four friends together would give so much to gain their rightful place as four heroes. Their greatest quest would take them on a dangerous journey to fight a mysterious creature known as the Ender Dragon. In the end, the Order of the Stone emerged victorious and the dragon was defeated. Their story complete, they slipped away into the pages of legend. But when one story ends, another one begins. Would you rather fight a hundred chicken-sized zombies or ten zombie-sized chickens? Just to be clear, you wouldn't have any weapons or armor, so you'd have to fight them with your hands. It's just a hypothetical question, Jesse. So, I've got a daylight sensor on the roof, mm-hmm. and if I did this right, these lamps should turn on once it gets dark. Mm-hmm. I didn't want to just leave Reuben here with nothing while we're at the building competition. He's coming with us. Yeah, yeah. Really? <laughs> what kind of question is that? Of course he okay, is. Okay, I'm not saying he shouldn't come. I'm not. But don't you think it's a little weird that you take him with you everywhere you go? He kind of makes us look like, is my friend. I don't know, amateurs. Ruben's my best friend. I thought I was your best friend. Both of you are. I didn't mean anything by it. I'm glad he's coming. 
I just don't want to give people one more reason to call us losers. I'm getting tired of it. I'm tired of being a laughing stock. Who cares what other people think? I know. I'm just... It wears you down. You say you're not a loser, Olivia. So win. Okay. Okay. Fine. Did you hear that? Oh, no. Boom! <laughs> You guys totally freaked out. Now we're gone. Axel, what's the matter with you? Great. Now I'm gonna smell like a pig in Endercon. I thought we were buddies. Cool mask. It is, isn't it? Yeah, very convincing. <laughs> the look on your faces. Did you bring the fireworks? Of course I did. I even brought something for the little guy. Nice. You brought Reuben a disguise? Um, we're going to a convention. Somebody's got to wear a costume. <laughs> he looks awesome. It only took me like a million hours to build it. All right, all right. You definitely brought the fireworks, right? Yes, I'm ready. I'm waiting on you guys. If he was really your best friend, you wouldn't let him go outside dressed like that. The only thing more dangerous than putting a costume on a pig is trying to take it off. <laughs> Hurry up and grab your stuff. We'll meet you downstairs, okay? Okay! Shear is definitely taking these. You never know when I might need to shear some sheep. Steel, not too shabby. Gabriel the Warrior. You think we'll ever get that famous? It's not impossible. Maybe I'll get famous for my. Sweet poster collection. One of these days, we're gonna win the Endercon building competition. And when we do, people will look at us and say, Hey, there goes Jesse and Ruben, winners of the Endercon building competition. They really should change the name. I got this stand as a gift, but don't have any armor to put on it. Maybe someday. That's everything. Let's roll. Yeah, dude. Roll. Let's go. I heard a pretty juicy rumor about the building competition, but you guys have to promise not to say anything. Okay. Also, it's in two parts, each part more exciting than the last. Spit it out, Axel. Part one, the special guest at this year's Entercon is none other than Gabriel the warrior him freaking self. Whoa, what's part two? Part two, according to my sources, the winner of the building competition is going to get to meet him. It doesn't mean anything if we lose. But if we win, oh man, this would make up for all the losers. Meeting Gabriel would be a dream and an honor. Totally. He's awesome. It would be amazing to meet him. Ruben better be careful in that costume. The last time Gabriel saw a dragon, it didn't end well. Boy, man. So, does this source of yours make posters for a living? Huh? Yeah, my uh, source uh, doesn't exist. You guys are my only friends. Guys, let's stay focused. We have a competition to win. We never win. And this year we've got Ruben with us. We basically have no chance. Faith, Olivia. What? A little slice, a sliver, a portion, just a little faith. That's all we need. Also, I'm hungry. To win.
No, no, I'm with that. All right. Wait a minute, wait a minute. We're thinking about this all wrong. The yeah, point of the building competition different. isn't just to build something. <sighs> we have to do something to get noticed by the judges. Okay, then. So how do we do this? We don't just build something functional. We build something fun. Oh. After we finish the fireworks machine like we planned, then we build something cool on top of it. We might be onto something. If we want to get a reaction out of the judges, you build something scary. So I say we build a creeper. Wouldn't an Enderman be better? I'm more scared of Endermen than creepers. They both have their moments. Both pretty scary. Then again, you scared the crap out of us with a creeper today. Let's build an Enderman. Ah, uh, Olivia's thing? Are you whining? No, I was saying awesome. Yeah. I think this is the first time we've decided on something before getting to the competition. Think we've got everything we need? It wouldn't hurt to grab a little more. Let's get to grabbing then. Okay. We're so prepared. We can't lose. Cannot. Bring it in. <laughs> Dare to prepare on three. No, no, no. Preparing is daring. No, that's, that's the same thing. Forget it. A team on three. One, two, three. Team! team. Story mode episode Talk for that. <laughs> we know what we're building. We've got all the stuff for it. We are so ready. This year, it's going to be different. I'm not just ready to build. I'm ready to win. Nice pig, losers. <laughs> mm. Oh, great. There's Lucas and the Ocelots. The rivalry continues. Man, they've got matching leather jackets and everything. So cool. Well, well, well. If it isn't the order of the losers. <laughs> Great. The fail squad's here. Lucas, <laughs> get a load of these losers. Let's go, guys. Name, please? Axel. And uh, how do you do? No, your team name. Team name? <laughs> we are not ready for this. <laughs> so much for losing anonymous. We're the order of the pig. <laughs> really? Cemented ties to Reuben, or are you making fun of me? Okay, order of the pig. You guys are in booth five. <laughs> Is that a freaking beacon? 
They have a freaking beacon. Freaking beacon. That's stained glass. They aren't just building a beacon. They're building a rainbow beacon. Ooh. We're gonna lose. Don't worry, we got this. What are you no, worried no. about? We've got this. Who uh, are we kidding? We've got nothing. We've got a mascot. <laughs> we should probably stop staring at them. Ha ha ha. Look. It's the order of the losers again. Wow. <laughs> Good one, Gil. Sick burn, We're no, just looking. No There'll be plenty of time for you all to look one. at it after it wins and gets shown at Endercon. You're being unpleasant. Maybe not all of you. Endercon doesn't allow outside food or drink. I'm talking about your pig. I'm saying he's food. Shut up. What's that? Jesse said, shut up. Do you need to hear it again? Ooh, this. I don't know. Burn. Maybe. Stop wasting your time, Aiden. We've got work to do. You're lucky I'm busy. Hey, Jesse. Guys. Hey, Petra. How's the bill going? Only time will tell, but we're optimistic. Hey, Petra. I forgot to thank you for that Nether Star. Hey, Lucas. Not a problem. You help these tools? For the right price, I'll help anyone. If you need anything, you know where to find me. None of us know where to find you. Exactly. No hard feelings, guys. If you're cool with Petra, you're cool with us. So why don't we just forget about all this and, you know, make this about how cool our builds are. May the best team win. Careful what you wish for. We'll see about that. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Endercon Building Competition! The winners of this year's competition will have their build featured at Endercon. The winners will also meet, in person, Gabriel the Warrior! Ocelot! 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 Whoa, handshake? We don't have a handshake. We'll just make one up. We'll call it the. Build up bump. Yeah. The builder bump. Hmm. And just like that, I'm nervous again. Don't talk like that. We can do this. Just stick to the plan and everything will be fine. This year, the Order of the Pig okay. can't lose. <laughs> Let's do it. Building starts now. Okay. Oh no! A fireworks dispenser. I'm so scared. You worry about your build. We'll worry about ours. Here goes nothing. This looks so cool. We'll win this for sure. I gotta admit, this Enderman is sweet. Good call, Jesse. Guys, people are looking at us. Good build, man! What? No way. It's just a bunch of dyed wool! Whoops. Oh no, Ruben's on fire! Ruben, no, come back! The lava's getting closer. Ruin the bill. Ruben's going to get lost. We've got to do something. But our build is about to go up in flames. Come on, Axel. Jesse needs our help. Let's go. <laughs> Oof. 
drums. We're right behind you. Ah. Ah. Yeah. See him anywhere, Reuben? The sun's going down. We gotta find you him fast. Look. He could have gone anywhere, and this part of the woods is huge. Mm. We stand a better chance of finding him if we split up. If either uh, of you get lost, just use the lights from Endercon to make your way back to town. Got it? Got it. Yeah, but them look over the Reuben, where are you? Just give me an oink if you can hear me. Hmm? Yeah, oink, Mr. Kajama. Og lugt lækkert, hvis du vil til et stykke kød. Okay, så kan jeg også finde dig. Hvad var det? Noget røg. Kan det være Ruben? Nej, det er bare en creeper, der vil spørge. Ja. Vi må have rundt by her. Hvis han satte ild til det der træ på den måde, der er, så er det jo klart rigtig godt ved at sige. Nå, det er ikke skadet, jeg går ind i det lige meget. Ruben, er du i der? Jeg kan virkelig ikke se det. Der er fem grise her. Ingen af dem på den samme størrelse. Wow. Ruben! Nej, du er pigs! Hey, all pigs, men Ruben, shut up! Alle andre grisen og bruge den. Hold mund. Lad os se, hvad der er. Vi begynder at blive nat. Ruben, det er blevet skræmt ud her. Nå, ja. Sådan jeg sagde. Ruben. Ruben. Oh no, du er der, buddy? Oh, jeez, please don't be toasted, Reuben. Oh, I'm so happy to see you. Ruben, run! I think... I think we're good. I think we made it! Please, 
Scheiße. Stupid wooden swords. I know it's bad. I'll think of something. Too many of them, buddy. Leave that spot, no matter what. You hear me? I got him. Get away from him! No, we got you! Get off me! I want to show you something. Not that this isn't a really cool, dimly lit tunnel, but how far away is this thing you want to show me? Careful, Jesse. You don't want to get a reputation as a wimp. Yeah, yeah, this isn't my first time in a cave, Petra. Yeah, but have you ever seen a wither skull? Whoa! Fresh from the nether. <laughs> You're the first person I've showed it to. You went to Nether, that's insane, Petra. No big so, deal. you better appreciate this. That's insane. That's insane, Petra. You could have gotten yourself killed. <laughs> Don't worry so much. I can handle myself. There's this guy I'm meeting up with at Endercon. He's gonna trade me a diamond for it. Being the resident go-getter pays off every Why once in a while. Literally. Why didn't he just go get this call himself? He's... Not the kind of guy who has time to do something like that. What kind of guy is he then? The kind who understands the value of hard work. Wow. Wow what? In a single day, you went to the nether, you killed a wither skeleton. I mean, I did build a super cool statue, but still. It's pretty sweet being you, huh? You know, you could come with me. Within day. I mean, if you're too nervous, I totally get it. Well, you're not saying no, so I'll take that as a yes. Okay, I just keep a crafting table down here? Comes in handy. Since that wooden sword of yours got busted. You're giving me a new one? Even better, you can make your own. Nice. One stick plus two stones equals one sword. Just grab what you need. Oh, okay. Thanks. Hey, is all this stuff yours? No. We're just stealing from whoever was dumb enough to leave this here. Of course it's mine. Just making sure. Oh, here we go. Jackpot. Just place the pieces on the table. See? Isn't it better when you make it yourself? Check it out. Endercon's all lit up. Oh man, looks like Lucas and his ocelots won again. Sorry, Jesse. But you've got to admit, that beacon does look pretty sweet. Yeah, yeah. I just wanted this to be the year we finally beat that jerk. You know, Lucas may be kind of arrogant, but he has come through for me in tricky situations. You might want to get to know him, just in case. He's good at building, that's for sure. It's always useful to have a guy like that around, no matter what you might think of him personally. Just think about it, okay? 
Come on, let's hurry. Remember what Andercon was like before it was cool? Remember what we were like before we were cool? Some of us will never be cool. Ha ha. <laughs> Creepers! Crap! This doesn't look good. Well, there's only one way off this bridge. 